I'm here with uh, Shepisho Lopang. Hello. Hi. How are you? I can't complain. You are here as one of the arbiters at the WR Masters. Mm -hmm. uh, how has the experience been and how did you decide to be a part of this event? Oh, it's really interesting to be an arbiter in such a prestigious event. It's given me an opportunity to, you know, to arbitrate at a very high level with a great technical team. Uh, my experience has been good. So far, I can't complain. Even people who are in the background of the tournament, who are doing the organization, everything is so perfect. How did this opportunity come by for you? Um, I was invited by the technical team, uh, uh, Anastasia Kalovic and Sorokina, uh, together with um, the FIDE CEO, because they sent me a request and I, I accepted. This was last year. Okay. And uh, you are uh, many things. I, I have many things to ask you. You are yes. the president of the African Chess Constituency. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Uh, you are also the. You are also a WIM, uh, and you are. Uh, you know you've been to m multiple Olympiads. You've played for Botswana. Mm -hmm. So it's amazing what you have achieved. Uh, firstly, about your role as the president. Uh, it's been close to now seven to eight months mm -hmm. since you became a president. How has that been? And you are the first female president ever in, in Africa. So how has that been? Mm -hmm. It's been okay. I'm getting support from all the federations. You know, uh, normally people say immediately after elections, people don't cooperate, you know, because you were in different camps. But uh, amazingly, it's so smooth. That is one thing I can say. Even my opponents, you know, they have come on board to to work with me where I need help, where they feel we can make an improvement because we are still starting. So it, we are having hiccups here and there in terms of sourcing resources, of course, so that we can develop the continent. But otherwise, I'm having support from all the federations. What would be your main aim? Uh... What are some of the main goals that you want to achieve as a president? One of the most important things is to ensure that, you know, Africa is fully developed in all aspects. Our players need to be at that notch. I know uh, travel is the main challenge in terms of, you know, you can even train your players, but you cannot take them anywhere because we don't have resources to send our players to tournaments. Uh, for example, if you look into Egypt, um, Tunisia, Algeria, they are closer to Europe. So it's actually cheaper to play in Europe when we are from Egypt and Algeria than to play chess in the continent. And mind you, for you to get um, rating, you need to play highly rated events. But when you look into the continent, we are concentrated up north and from sub-Sahara downwards our ratings are not up to par so that is where we are having some few challenges yes so do you want to organize more tournaments in the continent we need to organize more tournaments with highly rated players mm. because with our ratings we cannot get titles of course because you need a certain rating for you right. to, to have a title right yes but it's not easy to do it without sponsors. And exactly, and it's not easy to do it without sponsors. That is why we are calling to all sponsors to come on board. You know, I'm really happy because the WR uh, CEO Vadim mm -hmm. he has actually offered uh, like slots to say he will sponsor our club championship, and then the winners will come for the summer event in June, wow. which is a good thing. So in June, there's going to be the FIDE World Rapid Team Championship yes. here. And so one of the teams that, that wins. In Africa, he will sponsor wow. flight tickets and full board and lodging, which is a great thing, you know. That's a, that's a great gesture. No, it is. It is because it's a lot of money. Yes. And on our own, we can't even manage to raise money for tickets, even accommodation to come and play in this event. Because you can imagine how many clubs will be here. We are having a lot of strong grandmasters in Europe. If they are going to be using rating as one of the qualifications, by rating we can qualify. 
Right. So I, I'm really thankful for Vadim to to offer us such a sponsorship. It's amazing, and also there have been some very nice uh, examples and stories in African chess, mm -hmm. where uh, chess has been used as a way of empowerment. And uh, I think there are there are movies also made on it, but there are also very nice real life uh, IC projects that are going on mm -hmm. uh, to to do it. So could you tell us a bit about few of the things you think are are uh, okay happening? for now? Uh, social projects in chess is taking another angle because chess is doing very well in in in, the, in that area. We are having chess in, in prisons, FIDE introduced chess in prisons. Yes. And I've seen that a couple of federations already are, sent, are signing memorandums with their the prison department. I've seen uh, Mozambique did the same thing. And then oh. even Malawi is coming on board. Uh, Zimbabwe has been doing that, which is so amazing. You know, now we want to go to chess in refugees already in Kenya. We have seen the Kakuma camp, girls there playing chess. To some, it's uh, a form of employment. And that is one area that we, we never talk about. We are having a lot of youth who are unemployed, but some decided to go into chess to, cheat, to teach chess. Right. And they are having, you know, sustainable income. And we cannot all be professionals in medicine, in engineering, or law. Some decided to go for chess, and it's paying very well. Wow. So there are opportunities in there, that aspect. There are opportunities, you know, there are opportunities. So it's not only chess for leisure, it's also chess for employment. Right. Yeah. And you're also a PhD, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? I'm a candidate. I'm you're a, studying? Yes, I'm studying. And on what subject? <laughs> Strategy. Strategy? Yes. Wow. Yes. So, so actually what you're doing in chess? can no, actually help you, right, in your... 100%. If it was not chess, I was not going to be here now. Mm. This is an opportunity for me. I've traveled so many countries because of chess. And, you know, for me to go for PhD as well, you know, there was this other lady who was doing her presentation, and she's a chess player. I'm like, what is it that I can do? If this lady is a doctor, I can be one. And I went for it. Wow. It's amazing. I think chess has given you this approach that you can achieve anything, like that no, attitude. Yeah, exactly. There is nothing that, uh, you know, when I'm sleeping, when I think of doing anything, you know, I go for it. Mm. Yes. Nothing says, no, you can't do it. You know, I'm this person because of this game. So if you are, it was not for chess, I don't know what I'll say. Even my kid, my first kid's name is Leko. Leko? Yes. After Peter Leko? After Peter Leko, yeah. Uh, are you? Is he your favorite player? He, he was my favorite player. You know, I were looking up to Lepko, and one day I said, you know, that was in uh, I think two thousand. Okay. I'm like, okay, if I have a baby, I'm going to call him or her Lepko, whether uh, boy or girl. Really? Yes. I, I mean, in two thousand, what happened that you made this decision? Um, there was a tournament. I think he won a tournament. Okay. And you know, the first he appeared in one of the magazines, so that's how it came up. And in two zero zero six, when I had my first child, I called him Leko. <laughs> well, you you make a decision, but then you kept the the promise to I do it. The promise that because was in two thousand two thousand and six. I had to do it because your name itself means promise, right? Yes. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, I couldn't even relate. Right. Uh, tell us, what does a day in your life look like? Because you are a president of an entire continent. So let, let's say after this tournament gets over, you go back home. How, okay, how does in it? A, in a simple day, I'm an employee. Mm -hmm. I work for a mine. Okay, in the morning I wake up, I pray. You know, I check my schedule. What needs? What is it that I need to do? Uh, how many messages are there on my phone, emails, I have to re respond to a couple of emails before I can go back to, to, sorry, to my normal work. So that's how I start my day. So I ensure that in the morning I have responded to all the emails and messages and then I go into the executive committee group to check what's there. 
and then I check into the opportunities. Maybe once a week we write a proposal to sponsors, and then from there I'm off to work. And and what is your work uh, on about? Um, an instrumentation technician by qualification. Ah. Yeah. And and you said you work in a mine. Or? Yes, uh, in a diamond mine. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Amazing. So so you you are. The list keeps growing. Yeah, you are a PhD candidate. You are working. You are employed. You are also a mother. You I are a mother. So, yes. what is the secret of doing so many things? What can I say is the secret? I mean, to do I, like I, I don't know. The, I don't know. God decided to to make me that person. I don't know. And I I think you need to eat well, exercise, play chess. <laughs> I think the secret is chess. You know, in chess there are many variations, a lot of combinations, tactics. So if you cannot play any variation, what else can you do? Right. You need to have an opening of some sort and then you can maneuver somewhere in the game and see how best you can mate. Amazing. And what would you say is your future ambition? Let's say 10 years down the line, what, what would you like? Th things to pan out like in what way? Okay, in future, let's see. God will decide. But uh, of course, chess will always be there for me. Me and chess are together. Nobody can separate us. You know, nobody. So we want. We are looking for more opportunities. Of course, in India, Telugu's are long. Your youth. Are doing very well we want to know your secret you are welcome in africa to develop our youth as well because if your youth can what makes you think we cannot do it so i think we better explore those areas as well. right mm. because india is doing amazing so one thing that you are very keen on is cooperation with different collaboration because in the fourth industrial revolution if you cannot collaborate you cannot achieve anything I cannot develop Africa alone and as Africans we cannot do it on our own. We need others to come on board to assist us to grow. Fantastic. Well, it has been an absolute pleasure and honor knowing you, talking to you, understanding so many things that you do and I hope that you are able to achieve all your ambitions because you are uh, doing something truly special. No, it's, 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 it's a team effort, so even my executive committee is part of this, you know, whatever opportunity we see, we utilize it. So even this event, I informed them to say I've been invited to this event and just look at what we got out of this event. Right. Yeah. We got sponsorship out of this event, which is amazing. Coming here, we never thought we would get something of this nature, but absolutely we did. Fantastic. Well, as you say, opportunities keep coming if when you meet people, you travel, and yes. I think that's... Uh, because when you are home, you cannot have any opportunity. Yeah. Fantastic. It was a pleasure talking to you, and thank, thank you for your time. Thank you so much for the interview.